I actually, I've been on the respirator several times. I've had my heart stop four times. My finger was dangling. This is Jim Harrison. I was in a coma. I went into acute respiratory arrest twice. He spends a lot of time in the hospital with work-related traumas, what you might call reptile dysfunctions. No, 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 no. Go behind, Go behind me. me. Go behind me. Because Jim is a professional venom extractor. Well, he's really smiling. <laughs> he's showing his teeth pretty good. Jim spends his days wrangling the world's deadliest snakes in the Kentucky Reptile Zoo, the tourist attraction slash research facility he runs with his wife. It's home to the largest collection of venomous snakes in the world. The last bite I had was from a South American rattlesnake, and I had descending paralysis within minutes. I don't remember leaving the parking lot here. So why risk life and limb to milk snakes in the first place? To help mankind, of course. King Cobra venom is being used for two things, pain medication research. It's also being used in cancer research. That's right. There's a theory in the medical world that venom can destroy cancer cells, much like chemo does, a prospect that's created a growing marketplace for venom and its vendors. In fact, Jim sells an estimated quarter of a million dollars worth of venom each year to pharmaceutical companies and research labs. King Cobra venom runs about $100 a gram. But raising 2,000 snakes has its costs as well. In addition to the zoo's standard expenses, Jim spends a whopping $25,000 a year on mice. Because, well, snakes gotta eat. It's not something where you're gonna get rich quick. No, you're not. On average, snake milkers earn around $30,000 a year. But Jim, well, he's far from average. He's chosen to pump all of his venom earnings back into the zoo, leaving himself with a paycheck of absolutely nothing. There's a reason I don't take a salary. I do it just to try to save lives. Most people, when they think of venom, they think of death. When I think of venom, I think of life. I basically volunteer my life to save other people's lives. Yes, Jim Harrison has picked his poison in life, and he's sticking with it. Paycheck and pointer fingers be damned. Morgan Brennan, CNBC Business News.